17 year old Ismay escapes a brutal arranged marriage into the sanctuary of a covet of assassins for a price. As part of a oh. His Fair Assassins trilogy. His, wow. Hmm. That sounds like an. Yeah. Int- I don't know. That does kind of sound weird for the plot of a book. By the way, I'm, I'm recording again. Oh um, God! Really? <laughs> Thanks for that warning. Not a problem. First thing you, first thing everybody sees as soon as they open this video is going to be the arranged marriage and somebody running off for an assassin's guild. Congrats on that. <laughs> yes, because the other book that I'm reading is called The Immortal Rules. Because I literally could not find a single book that I wanted to read, so I just kind of just picked up random ones. This one's interesting. It's a different different take on excuse me the whole vampire shenaniganry in terms of books that is that is such shenanigans too that's the worst part it's more so it's in a dystopian future where basically the quote unquote virus that creates um, vampires can also has the if you're not like a master or like a level below that you actually, anyone that you turn, basically it's turns into what's called a rabid, which is a like mutated version of it to the point where it just kills anything and everyone and can infect <laughs> anyone. So basically the author went, I want an interesting way to combine both zombies and vampires. And they, and they went forward with it. At least that's the way it seems to me. Let's uh, research. I it has been such a long I, I I am suffering currently from civilization amnesia, where it's been such a long time where you've picked up the game that you've forgotten what you're doing. Uh covered that Genghis Khan is secretly plotting against Gandhi. Dude, he's been plotting against you since the beginning of the fucking game. Like Wait, wait, what the how can they have books one and two? But oh, here it is. I'm sitting here on. How the fuck do they not have book three? Who oh, let this go? Uh, oh, he's a great merchant. Okay, let's see. Who do I? Who do I need better relationships with here? Sydney. Or R- Ragusa. Sydney and Ragusa, huh? How far away is Sydney? Oh, so here, here's how they um, describe it, I guess, in like the overview. It says it's a plague, and it's known as the red lung virus. And... Red lung virus. Yeah. I'm just telling you what's in the book, okay? No, I know, I know, I'm just... It's Ooh. an interesting set of books. Yeah, yeah apparently. Alright, so Mr. Merchant's gonna go to Sydney. <gasps> I wonder if my book's out yet. I'm about to freak out, please hold. <laughs> I love doing that with books too. It's always so much fun. Is it out? Is it out? Yee! It's out! Yay! Because as you've forgotten about the series for fucking ever. <laughs> Oh, I didn't forget. It's just she keeps changing the dates on when the next book is going to come out. And it's one of my... Not my favorite. My favorite did my favorite. Look at the... um. <sighs> Actually, I'm not sure how, how into this you would be. But look up the Freedom's Landing um, series by Anne McCarthy. I thought that was pretty good. It's like space colonization. But if you had... Ex- thought, like, if the people knew everything that we know but had the opportunity to start the world again but with a different a different world entirely like, but um what's what's the what's the chica's name Anne McCarthy she died recently actually to McCarthy yeah McCarthy Anne McCarthy McCarthy Hersey Um, 
castle. Definitely need to get that uh, that defense bonus up. Because the Arabs are looking a little skittish, or Moroccans, I should say. Hmm. Hold on, now that I think about it, there had to be a book missing between. What was book 15? Retribution. Did I read Retribution? Oh, no. how was the Iron Druid book? I liked it. Oh, I didn't read this book. No wonder none of that shit made sense. <laughs> no, I thought I'd read it. No, I legitimately thought that I had read it. So it wouldn't have been a problem. And then I read the next book. I just read the next book and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this character evil as fuck, right? He'd kill everybody. Oh, well. I said it's panties in a bunch. Because, like, I have, like, a wish list, but for whatever reason, my nook has been my wish list, so it doesn't actually pop up. So I have to remember what I want. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. Should I buy a movie? I really want to see this movie so bad, but it's not out yet. Oh, wait, is it out yet? I don't think it came out yet. Have you seen the Lone Survivor movie with Mark Wahlberg? I haven't seen it, no. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. I've heard it's really good. Oh, okay. Well, there's a couple of things that are out right now that are pretty good. Still need to see Godzilla. Still need to see X-Men. Uh, Godzilla! Both. <laughs> Godzilla! She's yearning to breathe free. Yay! I got Statue of Liberty. I ain't taking out of your sass today! 15, 13, 9, 10, 11. Alright, looks like Babylon gets it because it's 15 gold per turn. Not that I need much more fucking gold, but. Sneak attack. New social policy, huh? <laughs> Ooh, you alright? Yeah, it's had the hiccups. Wait, I have that book I can read. Wait, is that on here? Or is this a different book? Jenna. Capitalism. This one look happiness. Darkness. Favorites. Mm. Oh, I bought the sample. I buy the book. Okay. No, let me get out of here. I read your so I didn't want to go punch a wall. I already read that. Can't get to that book to save my life. Oh, I had that entire series. I can read that too. I'm going through my library to see what I own. And I started a new comic. What's that? Why the Last Man. Basically some, for lack of a better term, I guess virus or something went out and basically killed all the men in the world except Oh for yeah, I love that one actually. Except that one guy and they're trying to figure out why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw it. That's pretty cool. I, I just I got started like, that one. Five, five into it. Five, I believe it was five into it. Um, very interesting. 
very interesting. But they treated it more as like a group of disjointed like episodes almost like not like a consecutive plot other than let's get him here um it's it's weird i liked the cohesiveness of like the walking dead like because you you had to keep reading them in order but with the why you could get a general gist of what was happening regardless of what book you were in you could just kind of pick it up and go um it's it's weird i'm hmm. not a big fan of that part of it too much um, public school, factory, coliseum, anniversary. Let's do amphitheater. We'll get some more culture going up in here. Cause them bitches just ain't cultured. Uh, just ain't cultured. Why do I need a temple? I don't. Oh, and I finished year one, finally, for, um, Injustice. And can I just say Alfred turns into epic badass? Well, I'm glad you finished it. <laughs> I'll have to... Because you rooted it off of me. Yeah, I have to, uh, borrow your nook while we're not busy at some point. Let's finish up those Injustice novels. Man. There's one of one of them that I got is messed up, so you'll have to look it up online. <laughs> one of them for one for whatever reason won't actually open. That's Though weird. funny, I yeah, funny enough, I bought the worst case scenario survival handbook. It was free, and a book of a book called "All My Friends Are Dead." <laughs> it's really funny. Like, let me read you some of it. First page has the dinosaur. All my friends are dead. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen it. Oh, well, I have it. Because I was going <laughs> to read it for people. I was going to read it for all of Reddit to just be like, WTF, mate. <laughs> WTF, mate. Yeah, it's been around for a while. <laughs> Squeeze me. Oh, did I put that back on my dash? Oh, with this book too. Tigers. Yeah, let's put that there. I got tired of that book, so we're not gonna read that book anymore. I was reading this book called um, it's called Reboot, where it was an interesting way of. Doing a zombie book, but not quite doing a zombie book. If that ma does that make sense huh. a little bit? I, I like, guess. Because in in a way, like what happens is they landed it with teenagers, but as soon as you know the teenagers died, they would be essentially um, revived. Like, I guess there was something that some type of hold on let me see if i can get the premise to read it to you because yeah. it make more sense to me trying to explain it ah <laughs> oh, hell hold on i don't want to get back to the book view details because basically essentially what it is it's a basically here's the overview it says five years ago Rand Connolly died. After 178 minutes, she came back as a reboot. Stronger, faster, able to heal, but also less emotional. The longer reboots are under, the less human they are when they come back. And she's known Wait, as 178. The, the less what? Human they are. The less human they are when they die? No. no basically, it is. It, what it's about is... Because it only happens to like people under the age of eighteen, really. Or I can remember it's eighteen or twenty-one. Where basically, like the world has been exposed to some type of like bio agent or whatever that made it so if you're under a certain age, when you die, your body has the ability to either you stay dead or your body reboots and you come back. That's what they call reboots. But if you come back, depending on how far, how long it took you to reboot, you've 
lot essentially each second each minute that goes by you lose a little bit more of you, your oh, humanity gotcha um and basically what you end, kind of end up finding out is there's something like the reboots are being experimented on and it's very interesting I just I can't get into it anymore I'm over it I'm just debating what book I want to take with me. Do I want to try reading the... Well, I also have a shelf full of books for two. Like, three or four bookshelves. I know. Um, what's about me reading on the plane? Oh, gotcha. Your books are not gonna help me on the plane. No, they're not. They're actually in book form, not in nook form. Well, I have one that's in book form. I think I'm going to read my weird vampire book. Because I already started it a little bit. And I like it. I'm, I'm on page 120. Because her creator is very interesting. Okay. Hold on. I'm turning off my light and actually laying down. Oh, okay. Um... Because basically, he's actually been, had been watching her for like weeks, and he actually saved her a time or two before, um, like he actually didn't cha change her. Because kind of in the world that they live in, it's almost like a dystopian world, you know, vampires rule, blah 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 blah. And he he had multiple chances to actually kill her, but didn't kill her. The only time he offered to even, like, change her was because of a series of events that occurred that left her either, you will die, or you let me change you. That was pretty much the, <laughs> wow. the options. What a dick. Well, no, he, he didn't do anything to her. Um, oh. He, um, oh, at a later time, dick. finds her. Actually, he he, is, he he has a very interesting teaching method. I'll put it to you that way. Oh, God, excuse me. That was a really weird burp. <laughs> Wish I could take that back. But, um... I think it'll be interesting to see how the book goes because the first book is called The Immortal Rules, the next one is The Eternity Eternity Cure, and the next one after that is I think Song of Forever, Forever Song. So Why am I watching Metal Ocalypse right now? <laughs> Why aren't you watching Metalocalypse right now? No, it's, it's on the TV, so I am watching it. Oh, okay. Well, we'll find then. Be that way. All right. I think I'm going to hit the hay. We got a couple turns in. I think we're all good on this end. But it's time for me to hit the hay. I'm, mm -hmm, starting, to, I'm starting to get that glazed over look on my face. Like, I can see it already. Oh, all right.